This video is about how to ensure student success through assessment. Like lesson planning, assessing students is an essential part of helping them learn. When done well, assessment highlights key learning objectives and reinforces students' understanding. As a result, it can build student confidence in the learning process, which in turn will help students learn. The last step to effective formative assessment is encouraging student involvement in the assessment process. Even young learners are able to assess themselves as well as their peers and become aware of the learning process. This awareness helps them develop metacognitive skills, which can help improve their overall performance. Involving students in the assessment process also helps them to be more independent learners and take responsibility for their learning. One way to involve students in assessment is to use peer feedback. This will help students think about how to improve each other's work as well as their own before turning in their final product for a grade. In upper levels, students can be encouraged to share their written assignments with each other. For example, in the unit on fresh food in level four, students write an opinion paragraph on food from supermarkets and food from local farms. The lesson planner suggests a small group activity in which students give feedback on each other's paragraph. The teacher writes sentence starters on the board to help them give useful feedback. One thing I like about your writing is, a question I have is, my favorite part is, one thing I don't understand is, this type of guided peer assessment can help students improve their writing before turning their paper in for a formal assessment. Young learners should also learn how to self-assess. As a first step, start each unit by pointing out what your students will be able to do at the end of the unit. Our world lists the objectives in each unit opener. Take a look at the unit on My Classroom. It states, in this unit, I will name classroom objects, count classroom objects, and name colors of objects. Notice that the unit objectives are written from the point of view of the student by using I will. As part of the introduction to the unit, it is a good idea to go over the unit objectives with students so they will know what they will be expected to do. At the end of the unit, there is always a series of now I can statements that you can go over with students. Now I can name classroom objects, count classroom objects, and name colors of objects. By doing this, your learners will know what they have accomplished and what they still need to work on. 